Hi, this is Mark at Big Island Engraving, and today I would like to do a quick rundown on the Porter Cable PCE 6430 laminate trimmer. This is the trimmer that we currently recommend for use with our butterfly inlay system. I want to unpack the box, show you what's inside, and show you how to get it set up with the bushing and bit. So stand by. Okay, so there are We've got the uh, box unpacked. There are four items inside the box. There's a nice set of instructions. There's an edge guide. Never actually used it, but it's probably pretty handy. There's a spindle wrench, 17 millimeters. And the router. And just a couple of quick things about the router uh, features. It's got a spindle lock with this red button here. So if you hold that in, it'll lock the spindle so you can tighten up the collet. Uh, to adjust the height, you simply unsnap this clamp and rotate this flange, and that will adjust the height. We'll just leave it anyway right now. It's not so important. But what I'd like to do is remove the base, install the bushing, and install the router bit into the collet. So there's four screws that hold the base plate on. Try to take these out quickly. Okay. And then the base plate just pops off. And there are two alignment pegs here that line up with holes in the metal base and when it pops into place all the screw holes are aligned there's very little play now I'm going to uh, install the bushing uh, into this base plate and this base plate, the Porter Cable Standard, is a 1 and 3 16 inch through hole and then a 1 and 3 8 inch rim. So there's a little shoulder here that uh, the bushing will uh, sit on. The kit is MLCS number 9177. And it includes a 1 8 inch down spiral router bit, number 5161, and this bushing. Now the bushing comes with this extra collar on the outside, but we don't use that in our process. You can use it with other applications for this kit, but for now I'm just going to remove that and set it aside. The nut just unscrews from the bushing itself and lays in that rim. It's slightly less than flat to the surface, so and then the nut goes on the back like that. And then I like to just give it a little extra with a pair of channel locks. And that's about all you're going to have to do with the base plate. I'm going to set that aside for a moment. And we can so take here a is the, the 1 8 bit. inch solid carbide down spiral bit. And uh, you can see the down spiral action uh, if I rotate it like this. It tears the fibers down into the recess that we're going to recess that we're going to make. Instead of pulling them up, it might tear the fibers out of the wood. Okay, so we're going to use that spindle lock function to put almost all of the uh, straight part of the bit into the collet. Tighten it up. 
Okay. Now one thing about those bits is they're very fragile. And if you drop them on the floor, they break almost every time. So I do recommend having a spare uh, bit on hand, number 5161, just in case that happens or if it breaks for some other reason. Now I want to uh, adjust the height so that I can get the uh, base plate back on. So I'm going to loosen that clamp and rotate it to about the right height. Lock it back down and reinstall the base plate. Now, I have noticed that this base plate will go on either way, but if you put it on the wrong way, uh, the screw holes don't seem to line up exactly right. So it needs to go on the proper way. And if you forget which way it is, just look at the picture. Alright, so I'm going to pop that back into place. And the screw holes are all lined up. I'm going to loosen the, the uh, clamp and rotate it so that the bit is extending out a little and then clamp it back down. And I'm going to take a look in here and you want this bit to be reasonably centered inside of that collar and uh, uh, they're hardly ever perfect. I've never seen one just dead on. Uh, but uh, you want to make sure that it's not too close to the collar rim so that there won't be any contact. And you want it reasonably centered. If it's not reasonably centered, uh, try uh, re releasing, making, making sure that everything is lined up properly. And it, there's a tiny bit of wiggle room on this uh, base plate with those alignment pegs, but not very much. You can do very slight adjustment by taking a sharp chisel or knife and just shaving away some of these pegs uh, in the direction that it needs to go and reinstall it. But this one is okay. It's pretty typical. It'll be fine. And I'm just going to reinsert all the screws. And then show you. I'll tighten those up a little more later. That's kind of the way the system is going to work. The bit will, ex the collar will ride on our template, and the bit will plow out the recess for the butterfly inlay. Okay. So that's about it for the router setup. That's ready to go. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll install a butterfly. Show you how that's all done in the next video. Thank you.